Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, in this Eucharistic celebration, our Lord Jesus Christ reminds us of the presence of God's, God's voice, especially when we are in distress. And so, to prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Eucharist, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. 
Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our need may at your prompting discern what is right and by your guidance do it. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first book of Kings. At the mountain of God, Horeb, Elijah came to a cave where he took shelter. But the word of the Lord came to him. Go outside and stand on the mountain before the Lord. The Lord will be passing by. A strong and heavy wind was rending the mountains and crushing rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. After the wind, there was an earthquake. But the Lord was not in the earthquake. After the earthquake, there was fire. But the Lord was not in the fire. After the fire, there was a tiny whispering sound. When he heard this, Elijah hid his face in his cloak and went and stood at the entrance of the cave. A voice said to him, Elijah, why are you here? He replied, I have been most zealous for the Lord, the God of hosts, but the children of Israel have forsaken your covenant, torn down your altars, and put your prophets to the sword. I alone am left, and they seek to take my life. The Lord said to him, Go, take the road back to the desert near Damascus. When you arrive, you shall anoint Hazael as king of Aram. Then you shall anoint Jehu, son of Nimshi, as king of Israel. And Elisha, son of Shaphat of Abel-Meholah, as prophet to succeed you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I long to see your face, O Lord. I long to see your face, O Lord. Hear, O Lord, the sound of my call. Have pity on me and answer me. Of you my heart speaks, you my glance seeks. I long to see your face, O Lord. Your presence, O Lord, I seek. Hide not your face from me. Do not in anger repel your servant. You are my helper, cast me not off. I long to see your face, O Lord. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage, be stout-hearted, and wait for the Lord. I long to see your face, O Lord. Please stand. Shine like lights in the world as you hold on to the word of life. Hallelujah, 
Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, You shall not commit adultery. But I say to you, Everyone who looks at a woman with lust has already committed adultery with her in his heart. If your right eye causes you to sin, tear it out and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one of your members than to have your whole body thrown into Gehenna. And if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one of your members than to have your whole body go into Gehenna. It was also said, Whoever divorces his wife must give her a bill of divorce. But I say to you, whoever divorces his wife, unless the marriage is unlawful, causes her to commit adultery. And whoever marries a divorced woman commits adultery. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Our readings teach us today of the presence of God's voice. But the voice of God is present most specially in times of distress. Nariyan ang tinig ng Panginoon, lalo na kapag tayo ay dumaraan sa pagsubok. We see in our first reading today the story of Elijah when at that time he was most tested. He was preaching the word of God but the prophets of Baal was pursuing him. They were trying to kill him. And so Elijah was in great distress. But at that exact time that Elijah was in distress, the voice of God came to him to guide him out of that distress. Nariyan ang tinig ng Panginoon, lalo na kapag tayo'y nasa pagsubok at pangangailangan. In our Gospel reading today, Jesus points out to us people who are also in distress. First, Jesus said, those who commit adultery. This is not just a condemnation of people, but instead, Jesus is recognizing that people who are tempted are also in distress and they need the help of God. Baka kasi akala natin kapag binabasa ang pagbasa na ito galing sa Ebanghelyo, Jesus is condemning people. But as Jesus told us repeatedly, I have not come to condemn the world. I have come to save the world. That is why Jesus was speaking to people who are tempted people who are living in sin, recognizing that they are also in distress. Jesus even addressed divorce in his teachings and in his words. 
not just to condemn people who are divorced, but to help and to guide and to love people even if they are divorced. The voice of God is present, especially when you are in distress. That is why for people who may be joining us in this online Mass and who may have heard this Gospel reading, madalas ko kapag binabasa ito at naririnig ng mga pamilya na maaaring hiwalay ang magulang o ang mga bata na lumaki sa broken families, minsan masakit pakinggan ang, ang pagbasa na ito. Pero tandaan ninyo, hindi sinabi ito ni Jesus para kayo ay parusahan. Pinapaalala lang ni Jesus na naiintindihan niya tayo at sinasamahan niya tayo kahit sa gitna ng isang pamilya na sira, isang pamilya na hiwalay, isang pamilya na nagkaroon ng problema. Kung nasaan ng problema, nariyan lalo ang Diyos. Kung nasaan minsan ang kasalanan, naroon mas nagsasalita ang Diyos. Hindi para parusahan at sisihin tayo, kundi para iligtas tayo at gabayan tayo sa panahon ng pagsubok. My dear brothers and sisters, as we continue this Eucharistic celebration, let us remember that the voice of God is present, especially in moments of distress, in moments of temptation, in moments of suffering, in moments of challenges, especially in family life. Let us listen to the voice of God present in our distress. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray to God that He may complete in us His work of love and fidelity. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may continue to proclaim the true dignity of marriage and help couples stay together in their sacred calling. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That married couples may be sensitive to each other's needs and find true happiness in their lives together. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That those experiencing difficulties in marriage may persevere in their commitment. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That the sick, the aged, and the lonely may find support within our community. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. That those who have died may be given a place in the eternal kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Almighty Father, you have given us marriage as a sign of your love. Help us to live in harmony with one another. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
understand, pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you and lead us to grow in charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of, of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. 
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. 
since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. May your healing work, O Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil and lead us to what is right. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.
Amin. Amin.